Hello friends, welcome. We will try to learn about a payroll management system where it is developed using Kinter as a, a front end user interface and the back end we have used the SQLite database and uh, you will understand various uh, functionality of it and you have just added three packages to it. So employee management, attendance management and generation of the payslip. So this is the way and it can be further extended also. We will learn all about this but before we move my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when you add tutorial and we are frequently adding that also. Let us try to learn by seeing this demo of payroll management system. We are in our uh, Visual Studio code so all the packages we have opened here. So in this you will first will the entry point is the main.py so this is the file I am just running this. So you can see the window here it will open up and we will be uh, accessing the various it is a tab uh, browser tab facility so other page uh, packages we can access by using the particular uh, tab. So here it is it opens up you can just see here it is the home employee management attendance management and pay slip generation all tabs are there. So employee management I can go to employee management I can click any employee so this is 60,000 I will change the this one to let us say 58 basic I have changed. So this will affect the our whatever pay slip generate we do also. So I have just updated so data is updated it has given the message. Now let us come to the uh, attendance management. So here I have gone to this particular tab previous month I have some data for that yeah this is the December month's data whatever I have filling I can uh, select an employee say this particular employee I have selected it all the days I have put tick mark is the attendance is uh, present. So say let us give attendance to one more day so 5, 6, 8 so let us give go to December 9th and give the attendance so 9th is here I have selected the date already the employee is selected I will check box why a check box is I can mark him absence also by unchecking so mark the attendance so I am giving the mark for 9th for this particular employee what I have selected here so mark the attendance you can see it has come up here now you see for 15th we will mark it so 15 there is now there is nothing is there so let me just put the 15th select the 15 mark the attendance you can see it has come up for the 15 now let me just on remove the attendance for 19th so what I will do is I will just 15 19th I am selected same employee what I will do I will uncheck it and mark the attendance that means you can see 19th it has crossed means it is marked is as absence. So the like this any employee I can select and uh, give the attendance. So below that I can view it is like a preview. So all the right now 11 employees are there and there is a vertical scroll bar also I can go down further. So I can just uh, th see the attendance of it. Now based on these attendance what I can do is I can go to the payslip generation module. Now this is the another tab it is you can see the three tabs employee attendance management and payslip generation. This one say let us say for this particular employee whom you are given the mark we can see it is for the Jan month it is nothing no attendance is given. So let us go back to our December month. So when I once I am in December month it says that 6 days present out of 31 days basic salary is how much day wise salary this is where the attendance is taken care. Now let us just go for this uh, this person let us just see December month salary for him. So you can see December month uh, it has a th 6 days salary for him 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 this is a absent this days 19. So we have marked 6, six days abs uh, present for this particular employee. So when you come there here it will show days present 6 out of 31 days. So it takes the entire so there is a, uh, you can say the how the logic behind the salary calculation you can change it also. The basic salary it calculates then the day wise salary it is calculated simple logic 6 days present out of 31 days. So what is that then HRA is the 20 percent of the basic DA is 15 percent of the basic. So these two are added up then the total salary is given. Meanwhile say you you feel that this person's basic salary has to be changed. So or anything changes in the attendance instead of 6 days let us say mark it 8 days then we will be refreshing this that will be re reflected here. I can select someone else also here you can see wh whom I am selecting is giving the attendance or the salary breakdown and total salary value it is giving also. I can 
change the what attendance also come back refreshes let's do that for this particular second uh, the smith so let's go and change four days now let us make him five days so we came here for the december months now smith is here now smith okay you can see i highlighted four days are there we have decided to give him attendance on 17th let's give the attendance so what happens 17th i am going here marking him as present mark the attendance so for smith it is reflected 17 so note that one two three four five five days in the uh, month of december we have attendance for this person now let's go back so select the smith it is showing five days it has taken the face data from from our uh, uh, system or database it's a sqlite database by the way and basic salary 60,000 we kept it now let's change the basic salary for this also and see how that is reflected note that the total salary is 30,000 now considering the basic is 60,000 so let's come back Smith 60 will make it say 40 update the employee fine so it is updated now let's come back here again so john smith it is still showing basic salary of 60 now let me refresh the pay slip now you can see the basic salary has come down here also it's reflected 40 basic salary now the entire uh, salary is again calculated based on the new basic whatever uh, we have uh, updated now so like that you can change the employee management so the employees salary we can change it attendance we can give the day-to-day day -day attendance or mark him absence of for some days also and if your logic says if nothing is marked mark it as absent fine that logic can be incorporated so it will it will all the blank days wherever it attendance is not there it will consider as absent rest of the things it will consider as present so whatever your logic says right now it is unless you mark him as present the, it will not be transferred as attendance so its salary is based on the number of days the uh, attendance is marked so that is the way and the pay slip generation module calculate all this this is the calendar we have used tk calendar lot of uh, uh, you can see many tutorials are also there so calendar module you can browse to different different months here so january month we have not given any attendance so recently so J december month also the month whatever you at present you are displaying the salary will reflect that note that jan smith again uh, we have it is showing one day because for the month of november it is the attendance is one one day only so you, let's confirm that attendance will browse to december month you can see it is only one day he was present on the 19th so in the pay slip also because i come to november month so it's a one day salary only it is showing it here based on the whatever attendance i have given so that's uh, that's the mostly the functionality of it will be improving further by adding different different features to this this is the home page for the payroll management system you can study this uh, particular page so this url is there in the description you can use that this entire structure is discussed is shown here so you can see three important modules employee attendance and pay slip module these three as the key pages rest thing that da database setup sqlite database and the connection how it works so it is explained here and uh, different modules you can browse from here also attendance module employment management and paisley that's what the uh, uh, will say the demo it is uh, shown now these three sections so there's here also bottom footer links are there you can browse to any of the sections that's all friends hope you have uh, understood and enjoyed the session this uh, must be a learning session for you so this is how a system we can develop and extend it further based on our requirement this is entirely for your learning so i hope you have a good understanding of it and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it and my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we are tutorial and we are frequently doing that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching